When a ketone or aldehyde is treated with hydrogen cyanide, nucleophilic addition across the carbonyl pi bond occurs. The result is a compound known as a cyanohydrin. Since hydrogen cyanide is a hazardous gas, alternative conditions employ a cyanide salt such as sodium cyanide or potassium cyanide along with acid. Hydrogen cyanide has a pKa of approximately 9, making it about as acidic as phenol. Since hydrogen cyanide is reasonably acidic, some of its conjugate base, cyanide, will be present. Cyanide begins the reaction when it nucleophilically attacks the electrophilic carbonyl carbon. The carbonyl pi electrons are pushed onto oxygen as a result, and the anion that is thus formed deprotonates a molecule of hydrogen cyanide, yielding both the cyanohydrin product as well as another molecule of cyanide. In the following specific example, benzaldehyde is exposed to the alternative conditions, a cyanide salt and acid, to produce the cyanohydrin. The salt is the source of cyanide in this instance. Nevertheless, it nucleophilically attacks the carbonyl carbon in the exact same manner as before. The anion resulting from the displacement of the carbonyl pi electrons then acquires a proton from HCl to yield the cyanohydrin product. In summary, cyanohydrin formation is another example of nucleophilic addition across the carbonyl pi bond of a ketone or aldehyde. The reaction requires HCN, or alternatively, a cyanide salt and hydrochloric acid may be utilized. Cyanohydrins are versatile compounds because they contain two functional groups the hydroxyl group, and the nitrile, each of which can be further manipulated. For instance, the nitrile can be hydrolyzed to produce an alpha hydroxy acid. The preceding was an excerpt from the book Introductory Organic Reaction Mechanisms, A Color-Coded Approach to Arrow Pushing. If you found this video to be helpful, you may be interested in the complete book, which is available in ebook format from Scribd, in paperback from Amazon, or in paperback at a discounted price from Lulu.